Hey guys, Wes from Insert Frame here and today I'm going to show you how to set up social sharing on your Framer site with Superfields. So I've set up a bit of a demonstration here. As you can see, it's just a simple blog post uh, with some social sharing buttons here on the left. Uh, and if we wanted to share this page to Twitter or X, you can see here it works and does just that. Cool. So what we're going to want to do if we're going to want to do this on our own site is we're going to want to go to the Superfields dashboard. We're going to want to go to social sharing and copy this component right here. And then we'll go to our Framer project. So obviously yours will look a little different, um, but the way you set it up should look the same no matter what your site looks like. So it's really simple. All I'm going to do, I know I want my buttons to be down here, just like in the example I showed you, which we've got just here for reference. I just go here, um, select the frame I want to paste it in, and just go ahead and hit paste. Cool. And now once we've done that, we can go ahead and check out the panel here for the component. So you've got a few options here to customize um, what you want the button to look like. But first, we're just going to take a look at some of the platforms. So these are all um, the platforms you can share your page to. And as you can see here, it's a pretty good selection. It's all your major uh, social medias and sharing platforms. So if I wanted it to look like it was on this page here, we've got Facebook, X, LinkedIn, email, and uh, just the copying the URL. So I'm just going to duplicate that because we've got Facebook already. Twitter. LinkedIn, then it was email, and then to copy the URL. Cool, so now we've got the buttons in and we've set them up to the right social sharing platforms. Um, and what we're gonna do now is customize uh, the button's appearances. So the way we do that, I'm just gonna select them all and do them all in one go. But as you can see here, you can add a border. Let's say I wanted to add, you know, a big black border border and um, make it give them white borders and I'll just do it like that but I'm gonna get rid of that uh, and because I want it to look the same as it does here um, I can see here that there are no brand colors so I'm just gonna go into the colors and the background fill I'm just gonna go to custom and then delete that so now that's gotten rid of the background um, the icon color, I'm just going to keep with white. I use the style there that I've set up. And then I'm just going to get rid of the radius, get rid of the padding. And then you can see there that it's basically the same, or if not the exact same, as we've got it set up just here. So that's the basic customization that we can do to the components. But let's say I wanted to add my own custom icon. Let's say I wanted this X to be the old Twitter logo with the bird. Um, what I'd do is I'd go to a font library like fontawesome.com. This is just what I've got. And I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to pick the color that I want. I know I want it to be white. And then I'm just going to copy the SVG the snippet there. I'm going to go back over to my project, which is this one. And what I'm going to do is go here where it says custom icon. It's just the last selection there. And then I just paste it in and then watch what happens here as I hit enter. And you can do the same for an image if you wanted to input an image for the icon there. But we're just going to stick with the SVG. The next thing I want to look at is this share link uh, toggle here. So by default, it's set to current page. And that's the way that we want it for this example here. Uh, we just want it to share the page that it's attached to. So if I had another CMS collection, which I don't, but if I did uh, and it was a different blog post, it would share that specific page. But let's just say I wanted it to be attached to a custom URL. Um, I would hook this URL up to a variable. Let's say I had the um, another link variable, but right now I'm just going to hook it up to the slug just to show you how that would work, but we're just going to keep it on current page. Cool. So now all that's left to do is publish our changes. I'm just going to hit update. 
open the link. You can see here it's the right page. We've got this custom icon there. And then if I wanted to try that, just hit the button there. And as you can see, that works as it should. And if you've set it up correctly, it should look the same. Uh, you want to test that it all works once you've published it. And if the correct link is there, you know you've done it correctly. So that's how you set up social sharing with Superfields. I hope this helped and I hope you have a great day. See you later.